Before I, I impose uh, the sentence in this case, I, I want to thank the family members uh, for the privilege of learning about each and every one of your loved ones. I can tell you that they will not be forgotten. And I feel that I know each and every one of them by the personal stories that you have um, that you have given. Um, by way of example, Mr. Beagle, I, I remember as the witty teacher with the dry sense of humor, um, Luke Hoyer as the, the unexpected baby that came but was so welcomed by his mom and dad. And these are just two that I'm remembering off the top of my head. You all have been so strong and patient and graceful throughout this process. And I, I can't help but think of if, how I would behave or respond if I, if I were in your shoes. And the way that you have grieved so gracefully and have shown extraordinary restraint throughout this process is something that I've never seen. And as a group of people, you are so strong and, and so united that if anything good came out of this event, I feel seeing you, I, I can know that you are all going to be okay because you have each other. I know that that doesn't help at all. And if I could take your pain away or carry your pain for you just for five minutes so that you could breathe, <clears throat> I would. Because I, I can't even imagine what you go through each day. You are a wonderful, strong community. And I also want to tell you that when I visited that school, I expected um, tragedy and sadness, which is present. However, that school is still thriving and it's a beautiful campus. And it's not broken like one would expect. And I think that that is due to the strength of you all and your community. And I think that when people remember that school, they're going to remember the strength of the community and how, I mean, every one of these kids came up here, the, the survivors and testified as to the schools that they're attending and how well they're doing, it, it, it speaks volumes as it, to you all as families and the care and the love that you, you provide your children. And I couldn't help but notice when their survivors came in and testified that their family units came with them and were there for them. And I can't think of any other instance in one community where, where so many children would have not one, not two, but a group of loving family members to support them. And that's how I will always think of MSD, just as a, as a great school that will survive like you all have. So, Many of you thanked me. I want to thank you because you were. You were, you were ordered so that we could have a fair and, and clean trial. You were ordered not to, to have emotional reactions, to, to show restraint that I don't believe. I think I would be like Mr. Oliver and I would have to be in my office because I don't believe I would be able to show the restraint that you all showed and I thank you for that.